So now, I plan in future videos to do projects with motors and I don't have any that are really easy to see what they're doing. But I have this hand crank generator and so you turn it and it creates electricity. It can create up to about 15 volts and 300 milliamps of current if you turn it pretty well. But uh, for this video, what we're going to do is attach this to my bench power supply and which can go up to 18 volts and so it is set to zero volts right now and uh, so nothing's happening so when you crank this this side outputs more positive that side outputs more negative and you can charge a battery or something it doesn't work uh, terribly well powering stuff directly but it works pretty good at uh, giving a charge to, uh, I charge super capacitors. I had to use a diode though to keep the uh, power from going back from the capacitor to the unit. But in this case, we want to actually give uh, some power to the unit so that it turns. So I'm going up to uh, 1 volt. I kind of felt something, but uh, there's no motion right now. Now we're going up to uh, 2 volts. And there we go. That's about what it takes. So now with uh, 2 volts across here, you can see that it is turning clockwise. It looks like about 40 milliamps, 50 milliamps of current going through. And uh, so it's going clockwise like that. We're going to detach the two clips and then put them on opposite sides. Right there, ah, that broke off. So the black one I'm gonna put to the positive side when you are cranking it clockwise. And then uh, we're going to put uh, the red one there. And now it is spinning counterclockwise. So that's uh, how the DC motor works. Pretty simple. This one's pretty easy to see because it has this handle and it moves slow. A lot of motors move really fast and they just have a little post. So you got to add like a little flag or something to them and uh, really try to limit the current so they don't spin too fast. So this is 2 volts and it's limiting the current to about 40 milliamps and my bench power supply is not meant to be that accurate at low current but now we got 3 volts 4 volts about 60 milliamps of current 5 6 7 8 so about 9 volts and about 100 milliamps of current so in any case that's uh, all the motor does uh, DC motor you just apply a voltage in uh, one direction the motor will spin in one direction you apply it the other direction it will spin in the other direction 